If you are obese or morbidly obese, please watch this video until the end because I'm gonna give you some information that you may have never heard before. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and I used to be morbidly obese and then obese and then overweight. And now I have a healthy, normal weight by practicing the principles that I talk about on other YouTubes on this channel. Uh, it seems that obesity in the United States, both in adults and in children, is exploding during the last 18 to 24 months of trauma and drama that we've all been going through. The rates of obesity in children has increased 20% or more. The rate of, a, in a, of obesity in adults has increased by a like amount. Last year, there were 12 states in the United States where over 35% of the adults were obese. This year, it's 16 states. How long is it gonna be before every state in the union, uh, there's over 35% of the adult population who is obese or morbidly obese. This is important to talk about in today's climate because there's there's been some distasteful fat shaming that's went on in our society for the last few years. And it's very regrettable and it's sad, but it's happened. And what it's done is it's made lots of doctors and lots of other healthcare professionals very hesitant to talk about obesity with their patients for fear that the patient will feel fat shamed. And I wanna let you understand that this is not what this video is about. I'm not shaming you in any way. What I'm trying to do is help you to no longer be obese and to no longer suffer from the increased risk of hundreds of terrible complications that can come from being obese or morbidly obese. Remember, I used to be obese, so I get to talk about this without you thinking that I'm fat shaming you. If you're currently obese or morbidly obese, your risk of developing diabetes, type two diabetes is greatly increased. And if you know much about diabetes, you know that bad things happen when you're a type two diabetic as it goes on for years and years. Your risk of having a heart attack goes up if you're obese or morbidly obese. Your risk of a stroke goes up if you're obese or morbidly obese. Even your risk of asthma increases if you weigh too much for your personal height. Your risk of airway obstruction, of sleep apnea, your risk of kidney disease, chronic kidney disease goes up if you're obese or morbidly obese. Your risk of fatty liver disease and steatohepatitis both go up if you weigh too much for your height. Your risk of being not as fertile for men, erectile dysfunction and infertility. For women, the inability to conceive and PCOS. The risk of both of these, all of these go up if you're obese. This is important. It is very unhealthy. It is dangerous to be obese. Now, I don't want you to hear me saying, well, that's it. Your life's over. Uh, there's nothing you can do about this. You can absolutely take charge of your obesity today and begin to reverse it by following some very simple steps, the same steps I followed and that hundreds of thousands of other people have followed. You don't have to sign up for a program. You don't have to buy a bunch of products. You just have to stop eating certain slow poison inflammatory foods and start eating other nutritious, delicious foods that are full of healthy proteins and fats. I tell you how to do this on my Keto 101 playlist and my Carnivore 101 playlist. Pick the one that sounds best to you and stick to it. And before long, you'll get to talk about back when you used to be obese. The last two risk factors I wanna talk about if you're obese currently, one's very scary and the other one is kinda of hard to understand, so I'm gonna unpack it for you. The next one is cancer. Yeah, your risk of almost every cancer is going to go up substantially if you're obese. And the research is very clear about this. It's really not up for debate at all. The last one is medications. So the more obese you are, the more likely you are to have high blood pressure, diabetes, high triglycerides, and then all the other things I've already talked about in this video. Therefore, the more likely you are to have to take a handful of medications, right? Makes sense, you got medical conditions, you need medicines for those. But the problem is, is when you're taking two, three, four, five, six, seven medications, the risk that you're gonna have a medication misadventure, which means the medicines did something bad to you in doctor speak, or the, you're gonna have a medication interaction between 
this medicine and that medicine, or even three different medicines interacting together that can lead to some pretty disastrous outcomes. A lot of people don't think about this risk factor for obesity, but it's really quite important because if you're obese or morbidly obese, you're gonna wind up on a handful of pills and those pills are not innocent. They are not benign. They are not innocuous. They carry at least two pages, if not three pages of potential side effects. And when you start multiplying the side effects of this pill plus that pill plus this injection, very quickly, you're gonna wind up having some medication side effects, effects or misadventures that I promise you, you just don't wanna have. I'm 100% for being proud of yourself at any size. I'm also 100% against any form of fat shaming, but I'm also, I have to be honest with you and I have to tell you that if you're obese or morbidly obese, you're at very high risk of these terrible things happening to you. That's the bad news. The good news is, is you can start today to turn this ship around and start heading back into the safe harbor of having a normal body mass index, a normal waist to height ratio, and a normal hip to waist ratio. Once you get those three ratios where they need to be, your health is gonna be so much better, you're gonna feel better, you'll actually uh, won't have to try to like what you see in the mirror, but your risk, what I really care about is your risk of all these terrible health outcomes are going to literally go down the drain. Your risk is gonna be so low. Please don't let food addiction or social pressure or laziness, the, your, your inability to want to change your habits, please don't let any of those things keep you at the unhealthy place that you are right now. There is hope, there is light at the end of the tunnel and you can get from here to there, I promise you, it, you just have to do it one day at a time. Start slow, make a change each and every day, and before you know it, you're gonna have to buy new clothes. This is Dr. Barry, I hope this video helped. See you next time.